You want some breakfast, you two? You should eat some food. We got a big day ahead of us. Good morning, guys. Sorry for the condescending intro. No comment. Oatmeal's warm. <laughs> What's up guys, we are at the San Josef free rec site again with the awesome giant trees that we stayed at before we did the Cape Scott hike because we are gonna go check out San Josef Bay uh, during low tide because there's awesome sea stacks and cool things to see there. So I'm gonna do that quickly and then today's probably gonna be a pretty big driving day. We're just gonna head out of the northern part of the island finally and I make it sound like I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> but we've been up here for a little while between like the whale watching and Telegraph Cove and we're, we're ready to move on. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna see basically just how far we can drive. I think our next destination is Tofino because I believe there's a highway that cuts across the middle of the island all the way over to Tofino. And then we're going to do some surfing there. If not, we're going to head to Victoria. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at a map yet. So either way, a lot of driving and we'll just see where we end up. Point B is not yet known. We're in point A though. Point A tastes good. Point A does taste good. And it's warm on this cold morning. Alright, back in the rainforest on the San Josef Bay Trail. It is much, much more groomed. When we get to the point, we should show them. There's a turnoff point where one way goes to San Josef and the other way goes to Cape Scott. And you can immediately see the difference in the two trails. This one's so nice and flat. So it's like a gravel, groomed. like groomed road. And the other one's just like immediately becomes, you know, Three branches, roots, Fallen like muddy trees, rocks. Slippery boardwalk. <laughs> and you're like, oh. You're like, okay, I think we're going in the right direction. <laughs> Great. We have gotten to the fork in the path that we talked about. And here it is. So you have the San Josef Bay path, which is nice and groomed and a casual hike. And then you turn around. And up you go through the chaos on the way to Nell's Bite and Cape Scott. I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can see. Almost immediately just gets into a tangle of roots. <laughs> Not only is walking on the ocean floor super cool, but it's even cooler when you got these crazy sea stacks that are formed by the ocean and you can just walk around them when the tide is low. And just admire them as they like tower over you. Another cool part about them is that there's actually vegetation that grows on top too, which makes like a nice little cap. The power of water and erosion never ceases to amaze me.
note note to self don't don't rest hand on the horn it might be stable for vlogging not so good for sound oh god today has been driving driving it's been a lot of driving and more driving and we're probably drove for turned. like seven hours so we're in camel river yes we found a little rest area in Camel River, and so we're drying out our tent on a picnic table in this like rest area along the beach. Because that's what you do when you're on a road trip and you're dirty car people. We also found a garbage can to throw out like... People don't need to know that. Don't worry about it. We a lot of garbage that had been sitting in our car. No, no garbage was sitting in our car because that's gross. We threw out one tiny banana peel and that's it. Yep, one one banana peel. Yep. So I think we're gonna I think we're gonna stay here. We are gonna stay here. Yeah, it yeah. says limit your stay to eight hours, so we will do that. So we'll just keep on changing our parking spots. We'll limit our stay in one spot to eight hours. We'll just drive outside and re-enter from the other yeah, side. Exactly. <laughs> And then tomorrow we are waking up and heading over to Tofino. I'm gonna do some surfity surf at some point. Hopefully. Oh, I can finally do this. Shaw. Yeah, Mark surfed gonna... once before, so he's got an upper hand. He also has duck feet, which provide great balance. I also skateboarded and longboarded. I used to board, man. I once went down a hill on a longboard. Screaming the whole way. No one told me about speed wobble until I was experiencing it. Yeah, it, it's a real thing. It was a little scary, but I came out fine. So I think I am pretty well suited for this. I'd like to add that I was teaching her and following behind her while she was screaming and <laughs> kind of laughing, but also trying to be a supportive, loving boyfriend. I which I al which I always am. I don't think that's true. I think I you're never just... waver on that. So if you really liked this episode, subscribe. Uh, don't kick your ear while you're talking to them. That's gross. I was scratching my ear. They can't tell. <laughs> it was a scratch. It wasn't a pick. I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> hmm. If you really like this episode, then subscribe because there's plenty more road trip action to happen. Anyways, if you like seeing us do a bunch of fun outdoorsy stuff, we're going to be doing this for like a month longer because it's, oh my god, it's the end of the summer. But hit Labor subscribe. Day's coming up. Hit subscribe. The school's almost starting, but hit subscribe <laughs> because you're going to need something to watch while you're in school. You can watch us have fun. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, good night. <laughs> I'm not that mean. School's fun too.